Why, yes, I did make this intro. Thank you for noticing. It... it sucks. Fuck you. Ouija boards. Portals to the afterlife. The gates between Earth and the great beyond. The devil's surfboard. And most recently, fashionable YouTube clickbait for the modern age. Do you guys remember when witchcraft and the occult was something that the main characters of any given horror movie just barely survived? Well, you don't have to worry about that anymore, because now that YouTube's a thing, Zozo has more than enough viral videos to be in, so he sure as hell doesn't have time to be visiting your unimportant ass. What, don't believe me? Well then just check out how many videos he's been in in the past month. He's been rocking it in the cameo department with over 17,000 results. Now that is one busy demon. And he's not the only one. The whole crew down there in hell just must be running themselves ragged with all these appearances they've been making to scare the kitties. What the? What the heck? <laughs> I swear I'm not doing Neither am I. No way. It's so windy. Gosh. Satan really knows how to delegate, doesn't he? But let's not kid ourselves here. Even though Satan may carve out a little bit of time for every YouTuber to get a little piece of the demonic action, we all know he's got his favorites. Like I'm Jay Station here, who not only has the devil on his back, but apparently he's been knocking down Sesame Street's door as well. And let me tell you, you don't want to fuck with Elmo, boy. Okay. He's on the friggin' ledge! Oh shit! He dropped the knife! Or how about Mr. Scrum Diddly Umptious over here, who not only has a follow from the devil on Twitter, and not only went to Sesame Street looking to start some trouble, but also had the balls to put on a face mask at 3 a.m. Oh, please, please. Oh my goodness, it's actually hurting. The heights to which this man is raising the content bar are barely even fathomable to my expansive fish mind. I can't wait until next week when he applies press on nails at 3 a.m. Now that will be a video truly deserving of the title of viral. But while Scrum Diddlyumptious and J Station may be total Ouija masters in their own right, they're not going to jail for it. Unlike the star of our haunted roller coaster today, Jake Duffner. You see, not only did Jake make a pact with the devil to get some prime Ouija board time with a few demons and ghosts, apparently he must have cut a deal with the authorities to stave off a prison sentence, presumably doing community service in the form of haunted videos for the masses of YouTube, which, as we all know, is of benefit to us all, and I'm sure the court sees it in the same way. But assuming that this is an ongoing legal battle between Duff Stuff over here and the American court system before he inevitably gets sent to the big house, I think it is very important that we sit down today and admire this true American hero. Because even though he's got so much on his plate, what with the impending jail time and presumably quite a hefty toll from dealing with the paranormal day in and day out, he is still out here grinding, bringing you nothing but the most legitimate ghost encounters that you could ask for. Go back. Go back. You think that's his name? You think it's like a fucking weird name? So join me today as we enjoy one of his most recent paranormal triumphs to date, entitled, Siri Moved the Ouija Board. Do not talk to Siri at 3 a.m. The Ouija Board moved by itself? Professionalism at its finest. Mexico City, we have Aunt Patricia, who just gave me this. Uncle Juan, who's right there. Hey Juan. Viva Mexico! Guys, it's, it's really not, it's really just New York City. I don't know what McGee's talking about. First things first, guys, I know it's getting pretty fucking scary already, but try to stay with me. Like the title and thumbnail might suggest, this is a 12 minute long video and it's just block to block horror. I mean, McGee right here, he's not even a real person. It's a goddamn ghost. Died in Mexico City and got trapped in an old coin that Jake purchased from a witch doctor down there. That's why he still thinks he's in Mexico. That's why Juan didn't acknowledge him when he yelled at him. It's not just because he's a prick and yells random shit at people in public. It's the ghostness. We're going to a gaming event and it's going to be really fucking hyper and really lit. And I'm not into gaming or anything like that, but after seeing like videos about this gaming event, I was like, word, I got to fucking go and I got to hype because I am the hype god. Everybody knows that. All hail hype god. 
Praise the Undying Undying God. 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 Did you hear that, folks? Not only is this man a true American hero, but he's also the Hype God. That's right, peasant. You're watching a video from the Hype Overlord himself. Kneel before your Hype God. Beg for your wretched life, you unhyped masses. And yea, though, as it saith in the Hype Bible, as the Duffner giveth the Hype, so may he taketh it away. Praise be unto him, the wearer of many hats, and all of them pink. I hype everything, so I gotta go to the fucking game. Or hype something right now. What? Hype something now. Tell me I won't. Hype something right now. Hype something. Do it! Yes, run faster! Woo! We are bearing witness to miracles, friends. I bet you came to this video expecting to see a Ouija board. <laughs> yeah. Got a bit more than you bargained for, didn't you? You know, they actually tell stories of that girl. Legend has it that she got so insanely hyped that she's still out there running today. And sometimes, if you listen very carefully, you can still hear the sounds of her New Balances scuffing the sidewalk. <gasps> what was that? Viva Mexico! Wait. No. No, I, I think that's just a ghost. We just pulled up to the event, and this is the superstar right here, yo. You better rip some fucking bitches heads off or what? He's a fucking god in the gaming world, apparently. Hold the fuck up here, asshole. Just what in the name of all that is holy do you think you're doing here, backpack? You're going to disrespect Jake Duffner like this. You're not going to indulge the hype god himself in a little vlog conversation. You're just going to keep walking and drinking out of your sippy cup when he demands your attention? You better pray to God that he doesn't take away every last drip of hype in your body. But you know something? It wouldn't fucking help because you just disrespected the man himself. You're screwed, buddy. And I know what some of you are probably saying. Oh, but he said he's a god as well. And yeah, a gaming god. <laughs> One of many at that. It's like apples to oranges. Look, I'm not telling you who to worship out of these two. But if, if it's backpack... You're just so far fucked at this point that I, I don't even, I don't even care. Can you control the Ouija board also? Yes. Facts. Fire. That's what we want to hear. Okay. Bit of a tonal shift, yeah? Well, fear not. It was very tastefully done. Nothing quite goes together like soccer fields and exorcisms. There's just something about the two. It's, it's like peanut butter and thumbtacks. I, I don't know. It, it just works. Prove it. Why oh, she be a little fucking bitch? Nah, nothing. She be a little fucking bitch ain't gonna prove it. Hype! God, Siri! Quit being such a bitch! You're gonna sit here and tell me that my phone can't control space and time? Like I wasn't born yesterday, bitch. What are you, what are you, scared? What are you, just trying to act all big and bad to try to impress the hype god so that he doesn't drain away every last ounce of hype from your next iPhone launch? That... Might be a legitimate fear, actually. You're a pansy unless you move the piece. I am way more powerful than just a piece. The fuck? What do you mean she moves? she's more powerful than just a piece? What the hell? The fuck does that mean? Fucking shit. What the fuck? The fuck? Oh, bro, what the that fucking shit? Now, I know you guys probably think it was Siri that did that, and I can understand why you would think that, believe me. It was filmed in a way that might give you that conclusion, but I stand firm that no matter what the hype god says, cell phones can't move inanimate objects. So if it wasn't Siri, then let's take a quick look at the facts here. Jake Duffner is the hype god, so I submit to you that he pre-hyped that Ouija board handpiece to fly off the table. Sort of like a hype time bomb, if you will, to make it want to leave the table. And there's your answer right there. Another successful mystery solved. Now, if you'll excuse me. All hail Jacob, father of hype. Our Lord blessed by the Ouija. Now all you out there, say it with me loud and proud. All hail Jacob, father of hype. Our Lord blessed by the Ouija. And with that, I bid you adieu. Praise be unto him, and hype be unto you.
Anyways, that's the video guys. Like it, don't like it, let me know. This video is mind-numbingly stupid. <laughs> I went in expecting something similar to what NNA Productions was doing with a short little unconvincing act, but with a Ouija board mixed in. But instead, I got a vlog with a 3 a.m. challenge afterthought thrown in for clickbait purposes. But on the bright side, I did find a new religion, so I guess I can't complain too much. Shark pride for life, bruh. Push your hands, stay, 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 stay